Hey, hey guys, um, this is a, let me get on my stool better, a Things I Have Finished, uh, I think it's number 12, um, or Things I'm Working On, which is a more accurate term this time, so we're just going to jump into it. Um, oh, let me tell you, I have not worked on the um, shawl, the one that's um, kind of thinner, I've not worked on that. Um, I'm almost done with the the pink one. Um, it's actually in the bedroom. So I didn't bring it in because you can't really tell that I'm almost done because it's just a repeat. So I'm almost done with that. I have not worked on the baby blanket. So I didn't bring that in here. So those are kind of the three things I haven't worked on that I showed y'all last time. So I don't really see a point in just bringing them out again if you've really done nothing literally on them. So, um... I can't remember if I showed you the big blanket that I was making for my boyfriend's mom or not. Um, the original plan was to make um, her one and my mom one for Christmas, and that did not work out well. I had a trouble finding enough of the yarn. Um, I couldn't start because I couldn't get enough of it. And then um, I just didn't have time. So I did finish the one for his mom. And she has it. I gave it to her for her birthday, which is in January, so that worked out fine. Um, and I've just now started on the one for my mom. So, um, and her birthday is in April. Hopefully I can get that finished by April. If not, I'll shoot for uh, Mother's Day. Just depends on how crazy my life gets. So, um, I have started, um, and this is made, I'll just, I'll have it folded, but I'll show you right there. I'll unfold it in just a second. This is made out of um, the Bernat blanket. This, uh, they used to just have a baby blanket kind, and um, now they've come out with adult colors. It is super soft. Um, it is a very, um, it's very, it's a very chunky yarn. Let me see if I can find the end of the tail, and I'll show it to you. I don't want to pull out all my stitches. But so it's a very thick, um, and it kind of feels like chenille, okay? Um, this is the problem with this yarn that I find. It doesn't matter how big of a hook I use. Um, I used a really big hook on his mom's blanket, and it was okay. I didn't like how holy it was. She really liked it, but so I stepped down on hook size for my mom's, and I used I'm using a different um, pattern. But this, I hope y'all can see this, is all you get out of one ball of that yarn. This is it. So, um, I really wish that when you get the ball of yarn, I have an extra, but I'd have to dig for it, and I don't want y'all to have to wait for me to dig for it. When you get the ball of yarn, it's it's a big, it's like this big around, and you think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of yarn. It doesn't work up to a lot. So, you have to buy several in order to make a blanket and it's kind of on the expensive side just for me I'm an acrylic yarn buyer by buy Red Heart and stuff so um, it's kind of on the expensive side so just be aware of that if you do start to make a blanket with this and you crochet it I think if you like arm knit it it would probably work up bigger and faster for you but if you're going to crochet it um, just know that you're going to need several, five, six balls of that yarn. So you're going to be making a blanket that probably costs 60 bucks, you know, at the end. And if it's a gift, then that's fine. If you're making it for yourself, it just kind of depends on, you know. I'm more willing to spend more money to make a gift than I am to, for something that I'm just going to lay around the house and use. So, um, but anyway, off the subject of that, um, I'm doing this in a different kind of pattern because I wanted it to be um, a little bit thicker, like not so holy, but also, um, excuse me, I'm super congested. Um, I wanted it to be interesting, not just flat double crochets, you know, around. So what I did was I'm doing uh, front post, back post, double crochet, but I'm doing them set to two. So I'll do two front posts and two back posts and two front posts. And it's coming out kind of cool. Um, there's not really a pattern for this that I, you know, I didn't follow a pattern. But this is what it looks like. See, it's got the ridges and then the back posts are the insides. And I think I probably could have done 
um, like front post and then regular and then front post and then regular. Um, but I mean, it's not really, you know, I don't think it really, really matters. I was just making it up. I thought it would look cool and I think it does look really cool. Um, and it gives it even more of a fluffy kind of thing going on. And I think my mom will really like that. Um, it's very airy. So, sorry, dog just went after the cat. But, um, or the other way around because he's mean too. But, uh, so anyway, I don't know how long this will take. You'll probably see this in a couple of videos. <laughs> um, I'm doing my best. This I did in one night, so hopefully I can kind of get on it and, and get that done for her. So, um, my next thing is, um, last week I showed you I made a pair of fingerless gloves that I hadn't sewn together yet. Um, I actually am holding off on these because I used this color for my mystery crochet along blanket and I don't want to make another one until I know that I've got all of the yarn that I need for the crochet along blanket. So that's why that one's not done. But I made a second pair and I'm not sure that I'm like super happy with these. Um, they didn't turn out exactly the same. I don't know, I counted my stitches and everything and one is just maybe like a tiny bit longer than the other and that irritates me. So um, I'm not sure, I probably will frog these or at least I'll frog this one because this is the one that's longer. This one turned out just like I wanted it to. Um, let me put this on so you can kind of see because it's kind of hard to um, it's kind of hard to see with these when you're just holding it up. But, um, let's go and poke that in. This is what they look like. Um, and this one turned out just the way I wanted it to. This one, not so much. So I'll probably frog this one and just use the same yarn to redo it. So, it's a little disappointed. I usually do these pretty well. I've cr I can crank them out pretty good, but I don't know what happened with me on that one. Um, the next couple of things I have are the same, they're just in different colors. Uh, Margaret did a video the other day about um, making headbands on her Addy Express machine, and I have one of those, and I'm always kind of looking for different things I'm, you can make on them. I haven't been brave enough to try the gloves that she did a tutorial on, the fingerless gloves, but maybe I will at some point. Um, so she did on headbands, and I've made four, and I'll just show you. This is what they look like. And they look like this on the the other end. And this could either be your front or your back. And you could put it at the back of your head. Or, you know, you could put it at the front. I think it would look cute either way. But basically, it is a crochet tube, or not a crochet, a knitted tube of about 90 rows. And then you cinch together the two ends and tie them together. So you can leave it like this, plain, like that. Or you can put a flower on it, which hides the um, join. You put it right over the join so it hides it. And it looks really cute. Um, this is the flower pattern that she had um, a link on. I modified it a little. She put a button in between, in the middle and I didn't. Um, but that's what that looks like. And this one, these two are the same color. They're a um, same color as the fingerless gloves. They're just... Um, successful where the fingerless gloves weren't. But, um, so I did those two, and then I did two in white that I have not sewn my ends in yet. So they're, see how they're, what you do, you can see on this one a little bit better, is you just tie them together just like that and cinch them up, okay? And then this one the same way. That's the strings are still hanging down. The reason I leave the strings is because when I put a flower on it, it's easier to use help use those strings to secure the flower as well. And I did make a one flower so far for them out of some scrap yarn and this is it. And I used some variegated on the back. But these flowers are really simple. So if you're interested in knowing how to make these, go to Margaret's um YouTube channel. It's like she's Margaret Olander. She does a sheepishly sharing is what um, her like you know line is and um, she has a link in her video on the headbands and the um, directions are really easy to follow. I'm usually not a written directions person. I have a hard time with those but this one I found really easy to follow and what you do is it's done in rows and you just stop 
rows, however big you want your flower to be. So um, this one is not as big as it could be. There's like a two more rows around, but for a headband like this, I don't want it to be ginormous. So what I'm going to do is attach it just like that, minus all these strings hanging down, to this headband. So it'll look like that. And I thought this was a really cute, bright color um, to go with this. And this, if you notice these colors, these are the leftovers, some of them from that shawl that I'm making. Um, the, the one that I didn't bring in here that I'm almost done with. So these are just leftovers. And it doesn't take very much yarn to make these, so that's a good use of your scraps. Um, I'm always kind of looking for things to use my scraps on because I have lots of leftovers. The very last thing I have to show you is a part of my crochet along. And let me get it on the floor. Um, it has grown in proportion. Now it has to be in a bag, a big old bag. So when I first showed it to you, it was in like a quart size freezer bag or something like that. And um, that's mostly to keep the cat from messing with it. But if I tie the ends of these up, he doesn't he doesn't bother with it. So in case you didn't watch that video, the last one, what I'm doing is um, it's called in the channel used to be the Crochet Crowd, and I don't know if it still is or if it's Yarn Inspirations now. Um, either way. Um, just look it up either one, or you can look up Mystery Crochet Along, and I think the video will come up. It's a series of videos, and we're on step five every week. Sorry, that's the dog. Every week we get a new clue, and it will be an asking at the end. Lola May, stop. Um, it will be an asking at the end. So we're on step five, and I can't remember what step we were on when I last did the video, but this is what they look like now. Pretty, they're getting pretty big squares, and I've got 20 of them. The last clue was this thing in the middle, um, this like flowery looking thing. So, and you don't know what the end product's gonna look like. So it's kind of um, it's a mystery. <laughs> but they come out every Tuesday. So if any of you guys are crocheters and you're interested, um, I would suggest jumping over there. We're only on number five, and so Tuesday will be number six. You could easily catch up, you know, or you could just start because the videos are up. Um, but it's been really fun. You need four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Four colors um, is what you need. And if you notice, you can see the back. It's easier to see. This color, this blue, is supposed to be the same as this color. But I ran out. So this is as close as I could get to the color. It's just a little bit off. But you don't really notice it, and you're not going to know that it was supposed to be the same color anyway at the end. So, I'll keep y'all updated on what this is going to look like. I'm not really sure right now. It just looks like a bag of yarn. But, um, yeah. So that's all of my finished items. Or Actually, I don't have that many finished items. That's all of my things that I'm working on currently. I'm going to try to actually finish some stuff. Um, you know, not start so many things and not finish them because I'm really bad about that. But, um, yeah, so I will probably have these headbands done uh, pretty soon and they'll be up on my um, Etsy shop if you're interested in those. If not, you know, you don't, don't feel obligated to try to go over there and look at the stuff. Um, but anyway, I think that's just about it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you're interested in anything I've shown you or how to do anything, just send me a message down below and I'll answer you. I'm trying to try to be really good about that. Um, if you want to see better pictures of anything, because sometimes the colors don't turn out on these videos very well, just go over to my Etsy shop. It's Crocheting Stitch, um, and the pictures will be better because I take them with my really good camera. Um, and I will have those up pretty soon. Last week's items are already up there. Um, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video and talk to you soon. Bye.